New York, New York. It's the greatest city on earth, and at its heart stands what is arguably the world's best known intersection, Times Square. Just down the block at Broadway and West 46th Street stands the Church of Scientology of New York. It begins with a 36-foot marquee, seven stories up, making its presence known in true Manhattan style. And needless to say, this church represents the best of this city, serving the multicultural community that is New York. From Battery Park to the Bronx, all are welcome to come in and find out for themselves. To that end, just beyond reception are the public information displays, presenting the full scope of humanitarian programs Scientology churches bring to communities world over. The displays span two floors and further introduce the fundamental principles of Dianetics and Scientology. There is also a full exhibit on the founder of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, covering his career as a writer in New York, as well as his path to discovery about the human mind and spirit. And as in every church around the world, one will find the L. Ron Hubbard Bookstore, with hundreds of books and thousands of recorded lectures on hand. For introductory services, there are rooms for the delivery of evening and weekend seminars, including the personal efficiency, where one learns Scientology principles applicable to everyday life. Beyond that are course rooms for the study of the fundamentals of Dianetics and Scientology that can help to improve any aspect of life. Courses include the full array of life improvement, covering personal integrity and relationships, marriage and the raising of children, organizing for success and the principles of prosperity. Then again, there's the Purification Center, delivering the program that helps rid residual drugs and toxins that impede spiritual progress. All the more vital considering the toxic effects residents here have been exposed to. There is an entire floor devoted to the Hubbard Guidance Center and the practice of Scientology personal counseling known as auditing, with a commensurate number of auditing rooms to serve this city. While for the training of New York's auditors, there's the Church's Academy. Yet again, it's another complete floor containing course rooms for theory and practical exercises, all that is required for an individual to become proficient as a Scientology counselor. There is also a public cafe open to those touring the church, named in tribute to the Freedom Cafe established by Scientology volunteer ministers at Ground Zero to support the 9-11 rescue workers. For a church truly serving as a center for the community, here is the chapel. It not only hosts all congregational gatherings, from Sunday services to weddings and naming ceremonies, it serves as an auditorium venue for community workshops, seminars, and a wide range of local events. And finally, as is traditional in all Scientology churches, there is the office in honor of founder L. Ron Hubbard. It stands as a symbol that this church is true to his teachings and ideals. And that's the Church of Scientology of New York.